Hi, how's it going everybody? This is Ryan back here with another cooking video. Today I'm gonna to be doing steak fried rice. Uh, I just wanna start by saying that I had a camera person lined up for today and just to help me out and they kind of bailed at the last minute. So I just went ahead and prepped everything and I'm just gonna to try to do the video and uh, do the recording and the kind of like the tutorial and everything. So just bear with me. I'm gonna to try to not shake the camera while I'm cooking and everything. Uh, Let's just jump right in. I can explain stuff as we're going. I'm gonna give you the ingredients for the steak fried rice. So of course you're gonna need uh, some steak. So what I did here was, this is about four ounces of sirloin. Um, I, it basically is just like a tablespoon of cornstarch, a tablespoon of soy sauce, like a couple dashes of sesame oil, not a lot. And uh, what am I missing? Um, a little bit of sugar and did I say oyster sauce? It has a little bit of oyster sauce. So about a tablespoon. So about a tablespoon of everything, just enough to bind all of your steak. So I, I cut it fairly small. Uh, I want it to cook really fast. So that's our steak. Um, I also fried up a little bit of pork belly. You could, this is optional. You don't have to uh, put this in the dish. I think it's great in it. It's a great kind of like accompaniment. It just kind of takes, takes the fried rice to the next level. So we're gonna use probably just about maybe half of all this. So this was, uh, we're gonna probably use about a cup of carrots, a cup of onions. Uh, this is sauteed mushrooms. Uh, you can leave that out if, if you want. I did a recipe on the uh, sauteed mushrooms um, on my channel if, if you're curious how I did those. So you can check that out if uh, you wanna put them in your fried rice. So this was a couple cloves of ginger and a couple cloves of garlic minced up. And then we got scallions. It's about, uh, about a cup. We're gonna use some in, in the fried rice and then use a little bit at the end just as garnish to make it look, look good. So um, let's see what else here. King, come here. Hey. Uh, sorry about that. King's going a little crazy. So anyway, hey. What's up? <laughs> okay, so a little sidetrack there. Sorry about that. Okay, so where are we at? So we got peas. This is about a cup and a half. Uh, sprouts, we're gonna use probably about a cup of uh, bean sprouts. And then I've got two eggs. I just already beat them up uh, just to uh, just have it ready on hand. This is about five cups of rice. I'm using um, long grain rice. You can use long grain rice, uh, medium grain rice, jasmine rice, whatever you want. It's up to you. I like the long grain rice or the medium rice. Um, uh, Kathy likes the jasmine rice, and that's good in, in, in fried rice also. The most important thing is you want everything to be nice and separated. This is actually um, two day old, which is perfect, because one day old is great, two days old is perfect, because the, the rice really starts to separate. See, look at that. That's what we want. We don't want it clumpy. You, you definitely want to use like at least one day old rice. So, uh, and if you're just a little trick, if you're if you're in a hurry and you don't, have time to have rice you know sit in the fridge overnight just cook it and then put it in the freezer for you know half an hour and there you go so you get the same effect so it'll fry well so i gotta walk here um that's already heating up and i'll get to that in one second um i also got a frying pan here and another one for the eggs um and i'll also get to that in a second once i give the rest of the ingredients so uh for the sauces or the sauce for the fried rice it's just gonna be a dash of sesame oil. Not a lot, a little bit goes a long way. Same thing with the fish sauce. Um, you can leave this out if you want. I like it, 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 it adds a really good compact flavor uh, to the fried rice. You only need a couple dashes. Same thing with the sesame oil. You don't wanna use too much because it'll, it'll really overpower it, but it does add a really excellent flavor. Uh, some oyster sauce, some soy sauce. You can use light or dark. Um, I'm using, I, I usually use a little bit of both, but I'm just using what I have on hand now. And let's see what else. A uh, pinch of sugar and some, I've got some uh, kosher salt, just a few pinches of that and uh, cracked black pepper. Okay, so that's that's everything. We're gonna just jump in and start, start frying. Uh, let's see. So we're gonna use vegetable oil. Okay, this is, this pan, this is really tricky. <laughs> Try to get this without shaking too much. Just bear with me, guys. So, just, you know, a tablespoon and a half. I just want to get the pan. I'm going to turn this puppy up. Uh, 
just a little thin layer of oil because we are going to fry the steak. I want to cook it really fast and and have it, you know, cook in about a minute and a half, and then we remove it and you know it's ready to go in the in the rice at the end. Okay. So and then I'm since I have my wok on, we are gonna go ahead and put some oil in here. This is also getting hot. So I didn't blanch my carrots, so I want to go ahead and get them started. So just enough to cover the bottom. You know, you don't want a lot of oil. You don't want it. You don't want your fried rice to be too greasy. So carrots are going in. This is going to take the longest. So we use about that's good. All right, and now ready for the steak. Okay, I want to explain why I'm doing this. You can do you can do your steak right in the wok before you do build your fried rice. Same thing with your egg. Um, just fry your steak real quick in the wok, and then remove it, and, and then build your, your your fried rice. I'm doing it this way because um, I don't want all the residual like juices from the the, the, the marinade to kind of get stuck to the wok. I want to do this all one time. So usually I will cook the steak in the wok first. The egg though, however, I used to cook the egg in the wok, which is you know very common for for the fried rice. You know you cook it in the in the wok first, a little bit of oil, and remove the egg and build your fried rice. But I stopped doing that because I really like I really like um, the eggs to be nice and fluffy. I don't want the eggs to be fried. I want them to be like fluffy and yellow. I don't want them to be like fried or dried or crackly or anything like that. So I want them to look really nice. Okay, so we're getting a nice little color on here. You just want to, you know, you just want to. Uh, Get each side kind of brown. This is only going to take a minute or two. So, so far, so good, guys. I should, uh, give you all my stuff. What do you think? Alright, so that's almost done. Uh, as soon as it's done, we're going to bring our pan up and we're going to do our eggs real quick. So, another thing about the, the carrots, um, you can blanch these, a couple minutes in, in boiling water and then ice bath them to shock them. Uh, that way, you know, you don't have to cook them for two minutes in the pan. All right. So I didn't do that, so we're just giving them a head start because I don't want to put the other stuff in there. I want those carrots to get, to get softened up, so. And we got time anyway because I still got to do the egg. Okay, so this steak smells amazing already. It smells so good. So, Because it's gonna finish in the rice when we're done. All right, so all right, so that's looking good. All right. Carrots are going good. We're gonna start adding the rest of the stuff. All right. Got my burner on for the eggs. So next thing is going to go in is we're going to do some onions. I'm going to use I'm going to make another batch. One thing that I learned, and I learned the hard way on this, was like if I'm entertaining or uh, I got a lot of people to feed, and I try to make too big of a batch, it it just doesn't get the the, the kind of fry that you want uh, for your whole your fried rice. Um, it'll kind of steam everything if you use too much rice, too much of everything else. So we're gonna try. We're gonna try to avoid that. So the key is to make small batches. All right, pans ready for the eggs. Okay. So and you'll see how pretty the eggs are uh, in the fried rice when you do it this way. When you do it separate. So like I said before, I used to do the eggs in in the wok before I build the fried rice. You know, that's, that's common. A lot, of, a lot of people do it that way. 
But um, I just think that it looks prettier and it has a better texture. It's nice and fluffy and you can see it throughout the eggs. So then as opposed to just frying it in the wok. So this is going pretty good. Okay, at this point we can add our garlic and ginger. I'm trying not to shake this, guys. I'm trying not to shake the camera. Alright. Now that's just the garlic started getting fragrant. Okay, let's go in with our eggs. Looking good. So this is looking a little dry. I kind of want to add a little bit, of, a little bit more oil. You can kind of. I think we'll be alright. The peas are frozen, so I'm gonna just go ahead and put some of them in there. And we don't have to season yet. This is gonna be tricky. <laughs> there we go. We just got one right in there. Okay. Things are going good. So we're, we're just about ready to uh, remove the veggies. And then we're going to fry the rice. So we will add a little bit more oil when we go to fry the rice. So at this point, if you wanted to, you know, do whatever you do. So if you want to just throw everything, uh, if you want to throw everything in the wok, like you want to throw the rice in now, you know, go for it. All right, so there's our egg. You break that up. So yeah, do whatever, do whatever you do. So you can put the rice in now. I like it. I want to fry. I want to fry that rice. I want to get a nice texture. We can break up this this egg. Okay. So all of this is going with the steak. Okay. So and this is gonna go in at the end. Let's see, we do some oil. Just a little bit. The onions and garlic and ginger left isn't gonna hurt anything. Alright, so I got this puppy cranking. Probably gonna do about that much. I'm gonna do another batch. So again, I like I like doing it this way because now we're gonna get the texture on the rice. You know, we're really frying it. It's not gonna be steaming on top of all the other vegetables. I got the whoops, I got the heat cranked up. Alright. So pretty much, pretty much done. It's just uh, frying your rice for a minute, and then we're gonna add the rest of our stuff. So so we haven't, we still haven't seasoned seasoned this yet. Rice is getting nice and toasty. And spread it out so it all can kind of make contact with the pan. I never realized that. I mean, I knew this wasn't going to be easy, but but I never realized it was going to be this hard. So, and I really tried to not 
shake the camera and move it around too much. It's kind of impossible when you're doing like kitchen movements, so. Okay, so. We've had a nice little head start, so we're just gonna finish now. We're gonna throw in pork belly. Look how beautiful that is. So I crisped it up, just fried it so it was crispy. So that's gonna really add a nice little crunch to it. That goes in. Let's get our mushrooms going here. Guys, this smells so, 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 so good. This is really gonna be, this is gonna be excellent. All right, so. Not a whole lot of mushrooms, okay. Rest of the stuff goes back in. Now that we had the, we let the rice fry for a minute. Okay. Everybody back in the pool. 